Okay, hello everyone. You're very welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've been asked a few times now, um, actually quite a few times now over the last couple of years, uh, how much does this thing burn? And I always say, you know, two, three, four liters an hour. And it, because it's variable, you can up and lower the rate. Okay, so to get a reasonable amount of heat out of the stove, we're gonna see how much it takes to burn. Uh, this oil line is empty. Uh, there's two liters of oil in this container here. So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna light it and see how long we get out of two liters. Now we have a clock in the background and uh, what I'll do is I'll just fast forward this, you know, maybe go 20, 30 times normal speed and we can see it okay, use so it. Okay, so all I've done is I've put a time connector at the bottom. We're going through a valve, down through this. Oh, this valve is open, this valve is closed, down through the unit and it reappears inside. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the oil line. Here. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, reasonably clean, but not spotless, you know. This is a waste oil burner. I'll give you some measurements on that, just if anybody's new. So this is a you know fairly successful little burner, very easy to make. This was um, a propane bottle, turbo torch bottle. There's about five and a quarter inches um, sticking up out of the, the base of this. This here is three inches and about seven and a half inches in diameter. Seven and a half maybe inches in diameter. Not mission critical, sizes, you can play with the sizes, you know. This is um, the first one I made. The next one I made after that was bigger. Uh, I don't this one's probably more successful. But uh, both of them work. So look, that's it. And I'm gonna install it. And this is how easy it is to install in the stove. Okay, that's it, in. Okay, so we're gonna give it a bit of a um, bit of kerosene, just so you determine how much you, you want to give it. It doesn't really matter. Once we get the thing, um, get it, you know, this part of the stove, the burner unit. Once we get it hot enough, the vaporize, the the oil coming down, we're away. So if you put too little in, it's not going to take. Now with kerosene, there's no big wash. Don't use gasoline. Kerosene or diesel is good. And you can see, look, I'm not on fire. Okay, so look, I put a baffle in it, I made a baffle for it, and this was the old top of it. Okay, and it's just to make the flames go out this way. Okay, that's the deal. Now, we've no waste oil in it yet, so listen for the uh, bit of a roar when I close the door, and all the air has to go through those holes at the bottom. There we go, I can hear it here, but you're a bit far away. Okay, so, alright. This is my second attempt at this. The first attempt um, failed because the oil got blocked. Okay, so you can see it going there. Um, maybe if you zoom in on your PC, you can see over here, just here is where the oil is going in. And, um, Opening, opening it just to let any lumps down. Okay, so that's that's a reasonable flow, and we'll see how that goes. So it's a rather successful little project. This the stove is kind of you know separate. Uh, the stove is great, you know, obviously a novelty stove. Could be any shape, doesn't have to be a propane tank. In previous videos I show it running um, in a cast iron stove and it works really well. The beauty of that type of burner is it will fit in a stove. Now some of the guys are thinking of putting these things in their house. Uh, I actually have a stove in my house, I don't run waste oil on it. You know, you'd never, if anything happened, somebody might die, all of that. Uh, your insurance won't pay out, so this is a, a concrete concrete floor and steel wall shed, steel roof shed. Um, and I'm happy enough with just, you know, getting a bit of heat out here. If you do want to, you know, if you have lots of oil and, and all of that, and you want to run heat into the house, uh, why not make that a boiler? You know, heat water and drive water into the house. Uh, so your stove is remote, or your, your, your heat source is remote from the house, and there's no chance of blowing anything up or burning anybody, you know? So um, in one of my previous videos, for, or three of them, I think, from a few years ago, I um, I 
I run a different type of burner unit, but I run it into the um, into a boiler. Okay, and what that did was um, I was able to make 80 gallons, 80 US gallons um, of hot water, about 300 liters, I think, of hot water in about an hour. You know, when I say hot, I mean to nearly steam, or in one case, it was steam. So uh, that's a very easy way of doing it. If you have underfloor heating, all that sort of stuff, you could drive the base, you know, you could heat a big solid mass and, and all of that. There's, there's plenty of ways of doing this without endangering your, your house. Um, so be careful, you know. This, for me, just treat this as for educational purposes. Um, as I say, I play around with these things a lot. And uh, I work with boilers and burners anyway. So, you know, so not with waste oil, but uh, in a different field. there we go I have a skinny stream going into it nothing nothing really um, heavy and you know obviously if you want more heat you provide more fuel you get more heat but we're looking to see you know how long we can get out of um, out of two liters of waste oil and uh, you will see I'm sure it going down there just make sure you can see that okay now I don't know when we started I'll have to look back at the video I think it was around four o'clock and it is actually that time of the afternoon here in Ireland. Okay, just to show you, look, cold water in the Right, that's actually boiling. So whoever asks about it, uh, I don't know what time we put it on it. That's a liter of water, so it wasn't a full kettle. Flames have gone a bit lower now. Well, there you go, two liters an hour are our best part of it. The fire's still going. I can still see a stream. I can see the, the uh, connector at the bottom, though, and a little bit of oil around it. Oh. Now we're so close to it, a little over two litres an hour. You know, that's quite efficient. Down to the last of it now, so that's your fire dying out. So I think we got to about 58. Fire's still going, still drips going into it. So it's 2.54 litres in a UK gallon, in an imperial gallon. Uh, I'm not sure how American gallons work. I think American gallons are like 7 eighths of a, an imperial gallon, for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, I think we're coming up on 59 and there's still flame in the stove. And there's still a drip out of the, um, out of the feed, so you, know, you may say 2 litres an hour at that rate. A couple of times during this test I got a bit of a blockage and so on. But look, it doesn't matter, you know, it's, it's not scientific. Uh, but you can see, like, there's no, there's no messing, there's no spoofing, there's no, um... You, you saw what I saw. 
So look, we still have a flame. Still see the odd drip going down. I should, I should have done a digital clock there. So that's 59 minutes and uh, flame out nearly. So two liters an hour. Still a drop or two going down. And a dribble of, of oil maybe in the bottom of the container. Uh, I've squished all I can get into the It's very hard to get the connector into that container. It was hard to do. If I had more oil now, even at that stage, when the stove gets to that where it's kind of flickering on the bottom, um, we would be able to reignite it again, so long as the uh, the stove was, was red hot like it is now. And we've still got a, a drip or two going down, so I'll call it an hour maybe. We're 10 seconds off an hour now, and there's still, still life in the stove. I'd say we've burned a tiny bit over two litres. And that's of course if it started at four o'clock exactly, I don't remember. Right, there's exactly an hour now. Right, so that's it. It's burning about two liters an hour, roughly. Uh, I don't know how long it took to burn the second kettle or to boil the second kettle. We'll see in a few minutes. But look, that's it. That's all I've got for you for, for this video. Um, yeah, so two liters an hour, brilliant. Brilliant. I'll figure out what that is in uh, American uh, gallons and so on, uh, points or whatever. Um, and we'll see. But uh Okay, so if you liked the video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, <laughs> all of that. I'm gonna try and grow the channel a bit. And um, but that's it. This minion has done a lot of work. Um, it's a funny looking little machine. It burnt all the yellow paint off. That blue paint did actually hold at 800 degrees, which is great. So if I can get some yellow to do the same stuff, fantastic. But uh, in the meantime, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll sign off and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.